Lord's in everything you need I'ma give him the praise with everything in me I speak for myself cause it's been good to me And I'ma show it to the world so that they can see Oh yeah, there's no other God like you There's no other God like you Oh yeah, ain't nobody loves like you Was missing my classes, I couldn't pay my fees Daddy down with a stroke, asking the family If only they could support, they kept ignoring me, y'all They said I was dumb, I was a risk to invest in It got to my mind, and I made rap my replacement Started feeling low, like my life was a basement Then I felt myself on a lot of empty basement, yeah I always felt like I was worthless Up until you showed up, gave me purpose, yeah, yeah, yeah Now I guess I learned my lesson only listen to the honor of creation Earth is the Lord's and everything you need I'ma give him the praise with everything in me I speak for myself cause it's been good to me And I'ma show it to the world so that they can see Oh yeah, there's no other God like you There's no other God like you Oh yeah, ain't nobody loves like you To the world so that they can see Oh yeah, there's no other God like you There's no other God like you Oh yeah, ain't nobody loves like you coming here for happy new year <laughs> happy new year yeah. happy new year everybody hey man it's your boy your pastor your rapper kingdom child and this is MYF, Mavuno Young and Fearless, where we turn ordinary people into fearless influences of society. So um, if you're stumbling uh, on, this, on this video for the first time, this is Mavuno Young and Fearless, guys. And today we're just giving thanks of um, 2020. What happened in 2020? Uh, the lessons that we have learned in 2020 and what we're looking forward to uh, when it comes to 2021. All right? Um, I think when the year started, um, it started very well. Uh, we heard about the coronavirus and uh, we were just like, ah, it won't get to Africa. And then it got here <laughs> and we were forced to go to the digital space. And I remember preaching uh, the first sermon on the, on the digital space where everybody was trying to figure this thing out and how it works. Um, I was a bit nervous, but God actually deposited something in my heart and said, that this is going to be the year where the church will take over, the church will expand, the church will grow. 
um, to its full potential. And we have actually seen that as a ministry in MYF. I remember we started off from you know, trying to figure out how we're going to do our services. The, the biggest thing that we were trying to do is engagement. Um, and I think schools and teachers <laughs> have um, had their fair share of that struggle. But we, we tried as much as possible to do the greatest production we can, but the engagement was not there. And uh, along the year, I think God shifted our focus from that. Because God was just trying to tell us, yo, look, you can't be better than, you know, um, these Netflix productions and everything. We can't be better but than your, you know, like your favorite shows. Um, but God told us we have the word of God. We have his word that is more powerful than any production that you know. And from that, from that point, we started seeing the importance of actually... Uh, involving the word more in, in our sermons and also just helping people connect through the word of God. And God just gave us awesome ideas. Uh, we came up with iGroups, uh, which are helping a lot of people. A lot of people have realized that uh, in real life, yeah, in real life, they don't have friends. <laughs> in real life, they don't have friends. Uh, and, and they've gotten friends through, through the iGroups. And uh, we are so grateful. Um, that God uh, had given us the, the opportunity to go, through, to go on a digital space and that happened. I actually know people from uh, Kisumu, um, Nakuru, uh, so many people, Eldoret, so many people who joined uh, MYF just because of the digital space. So those are the things that we're grateful for um, when it comes to 2020. And... Um, when it comes to what we're looking forward to is we're, we're looking forward to expand even in the, you know, go beyond the borders of Nairobi and go all over Africa, all over the world. Uh, we're trusting that uh, even when we come back, we'll still produce this content um, just to reach out far and, wi and, and wide. Um, so I have a couple of guys who are coming in just to share their experience uh, of 2020, what they have learned, um, what um, their year has been like, and what they're looking forward to uh, in this year. So stay tuned as, uh, as these guys just share with you how their year was and what they're looking forward to. As I have the mic, amazing grace. Happy New Year, guys! Happy New Year! Happy 2021. I mean, 2020 has been a year and a half. I felt like that was like three years in one, and I'm just glad it's over, as I'm sure many of you people are. I learned a lot during 2020. I, I learned that being alone isn't as bad as everyone makes it out to be. It's actually really interesting. You get to learn more about yourself and you get to know more things that you love to do. I'm so grateful for my friends and family who, who we have supported each other in these tough times. And I've learned the importance of consciously checking up on other people and not assuming that everyone is fine. On an external view, we have seen how so many things in this world have not gone the way we would have expected. But on a personal level, um, I, uh, I feel personally that I had time to learn more about myself. Um, during these times of social isolation, I had more time to dig, dig deeper into who Victor really is and who he is as a person and how I communicate, how I honor other people. And it's through that social isolation of me just being um, in one place at one time in my, at home all, all, the, all, the, um, all the time that helped me discover uh, things about myself that I didn't know or things about myself that I, could, I needed to work on. But I never, but I really ignored them on a surf, surface level. The things I'm thankful for in 2020 are 
the fact that I lived through it, the fact that I was never sick, the fact that most of my close family and friends never got sick and I really appreciate and thank God for that. As we, as we reminisce, I don't want to say reminisce because I feel like that's a year all of us want to forget, we still have to be grateful for some things and that year um, we have a lot to be grateful for. I mean, as you're watching this video, you're alive, you're well. So I am really grateful I'm alive and well. And I'm grateful that my family could be, um, are with me at this moment. I'm thankful for all my friends, all the people that I work with, that we were able to reach this far, that the year did not uh, take us down with, that, with us, no matter how crazy, how chaotic it got. I'm grateful for, the ability, I don't know, to, we were able to feed ourselves. Um, they were, we had the ability to, people, okay, some people didn't lose jobs, I don't know. But I am grateful for everybody being able to go through this year safe, strong, and well. It's also been a blessing in disguise. Um, the fact that both of my parents are healthy and the fact that the Lord has been able to provide for our family and our friends and, for, and the fact that I'm here, you know, sitting in this chair, um, talking to you guys. Going into this new year, I am hopeful. I expect that I will finish the goals I've set and I'm able to accomplish everything that I want to. Um, this year, I'm looking forward to working hard on my New Year's resolutions and going back to physical school because online schooling is an extreme sport, yeah. 2020 feels like, you know, online classes, if all the students out there with me, online classes have been, well, it's been, it's been work, it's been work, but you know, 2020 has its lessons and they were hard to learn. Um, I, lessons that I've learned personally is, one, um, the, 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 the art of being by yourself, you know. I am a person who enjoys being with people. I'm a person who enjoys being out and about and all that. And the quarantine had ma has made me love the indoors, kinda. Can't wait, I, 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 can't, I can't wait to go outside, but I can stand the indoors better. I can stand being with myself more. I feel safe being with myself because it has made me accept um, the parts of me that I didn't know were there and the parts of me that I have been not accepting. Uh, another lesson I've learned is to just be grateful for everything. As in, this life is chaos and we do not know the next second, the next hour, the next day what will happen. And it's always good to give thanks and it's always good to, to check up on the people that matter to you. Um, so it's given me an eye opening in communication because um, as much as we were inside our house, it, it, with the gift of internet, we could communicate across houses, boundar borders, I mean, and boundaries so that we can talk to friends who are far from us but still within our hearts. And it's, it's, a, it's a blessing and a blessing that we were able to communicate and to just be able to reach people within themselves, just not uh, having fun on a physical basis, but also a mental and spiritual nini. And also, you know, when, when you're inside and all this, you, you, you kind of like, I don't want to say you have to, but you find yourself spending a lot of time with God. <laughs> and that's something else that has come through. Um, you find yourself, you have a lot of time to spend with God, and God has been an important step um, each and every day along the, the path towards uh, a better tomorrow and a better today. I myself, uh, I feel ready for what's about to come. Um, since, I now, since I now know myself, um, I know who I am and I know that in everything that we do, God is in control and whatever comes 2021, I'm ready to take it head on. And yeah. <laughs> so I am just thankful and I have learned all this stuff, but I just got no wait for physical school and all that. So um, happy new year and yeah, welcome to 2021.
Hi guys, happy new year. My name is Pastor Jem and I'm just so excited about this new year. Uh, if you've seen me before, you know that last year I was not wearing glasses. This year, yeah, let's just say the digital space came with positives and negatives. So, but I'm thankful. Say, so, yeah, look, I think I'm killing it. What do you think? Comment. <laughs> okay, this is not my YouTube channel, which I don't have. Focus. Um, I think I'm just so excited about the new year. That's why I'm talking a lot. But I realize that for many people, it's not, a, it's not been an easy year. We've gotten to hear from some of our guys at MYF and most of them have talked about the positives and the things that they're grateful for. But we recognize that 2020 was hard for a lot of people. Whether it's financially, there are those whose parents have lost jobs, they've lost loved ones, they've just gone through really hard situations. And so today we just want to tell you that you're not alone. We understand the space that you've been in. And as a church, our job is to be here for you, to walk with you, to give you hope in times of, of hardship. And one of the things that we're doing is that we're inviting you to come into our space. We have uh, our I groups, our interactive groups, which are online, which you can be able to connect with young people of your age and just walk through life with them. There are times when things get thick. I for sure know that I can't walk this journey alone. Even as a pastor, there are those moments that you need to call someone and tell them, yo, it's not working. You need to hold me up in prayer. You, you just, I need a hug. There are those moments where I just need a hug. So we, we, we are encouraging you to join our I groups and just be part of this amazing community. And maybe before even we get to that, I'd like to pray for you. I don't know where you're at as you begin this year. There are people who are excited about the year because in 2020 they've seen God moving. Despite the insanity, despite the things that are happening around them, they've still had positive things happening. But then there are those people who are starting the year without a plan. They're starting the year on, on a hopeless note. They're starting the year not sure whether they should even dream just because last year they dreamt and it just didn't work out. So those are the people that I'm calling and I just want to pray for you, to pray with you that you would not be tired of dreaming again. You would not lose hope in God. You would not get to a place where you're so hopeless that this life is basically something you just do because you're still living. So let me just invite you into a space of prayer. And let me speak a blessing over your 2021. I don't know what your 2020 has been like, but I'm convinced that the same God who took you through the year until the very end is the same God who can help you thrive and even do better in this next year. So allow me to just pray for you. Father, thank you so much for everybody who's watching us today. Um, we don't know what kind of year that they might have had last year, but we trust in you for this new year. We just ask that they'd come into a space of complete surrender to you, that they'd allow you to lead them, that allow you to align their hearts and their minds to your will, that whatever it is that you've been working in their lives, that they'd be um, aligned to it, that they'd allow you to work in them and through them, that sometimes, Lord, hardship comes to shape us, to form us, to transform the way we think, and to see God in a whole new different light. So for the people who right now, Lord, are feeling hopeless, they're feeling depressed, they're not so sure um, what 2021 holds, we just ask that, Lord, your peace would be upon them and that they, they, they'll come to a place of knowing that you can be trusted. We might not know what tomorrow holds, but we have a chance because we know who holds tomorrow. So Lord, I ask that you guide us as we start this new year. I ask that you go ahead of us for all of us um, at Mavuno Hill City, the pastoral team, the other Mavunos uh, throughout the movement, Lord, that you'd guide us in the way that you want us to go. And that even as we continue to serve your children, that you'd give us wisdom and understanding to be able to do this. Even as we continue to produce content, to encourage, to lead, to guide, and just to form this amazing community of young people who are fearless and ready to take over the world for you, that you would be with us in everything that we do. So we give you glory, we give you honor, and we pray all this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys. I'm just so excited about this new year and I'm just inviting you. If there's a Mavuno church near you that's open, please feel free to walk in and you'll find amazing people ready to smile at you, ready to love you, ready to walk through life with you. Or if you're far, 
the online community is still here so go to our channels on youtube on facebook on instagram and just join us as we continue to walk through this journey of life together it's not easy but you're not doing it alone so god bless you have an amazing week and let's make 2021 amazing see you guys